Hello everyone, Jenny Flea here. Welcome on back to a uh, quick hunt showdown video. Uh, there has been an update. Update uh, 2.01 is now live, so I'm gonna kind of kind of read through it and give you my thoughts real quick. And uh, if you found this informative, awesome. You can read it on the Steam page. Link in the description below in case you want to read it. So let's just get to it, okay? All right, everybody. Here we go. So uh, it says. Uh, out now so hunter's pet notes can be found below blah 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 here's the highlights of it the water bayou the map reintroduction so a complete upgrade of the map brought to life through the power of a new cry engine upgrade full re rework of the swamp biome uh some train vegetation improvements detail lighting pests whatever so it looks like they're re reinducing the maps which is awesome um so they're just doing this to war by you. Uh, the, the swamp biome has been carefully reworked off for a more immersive and challenged environment. We made the target train improvements and enhanced lighting details. Cards. Refresh key areas will maintain the essence of the original map. Specific areas like the, the mill and lumber, grave docks have been fine too with new paths. So dock, okay, so mill and lumber, graves, docks, the still water and pitching I've been fine-tuned with new paths, windows, doors, and street expos encouraged dynamic gameplay. We hope you enjoy the new still war. Look for it. Okay, cool. Can't wait for that. Um, some of those places always was bad when you only have one or two entrances, so having multiple entrances would be kind of fun. So excited for that. General updates, UI improvements. Um, added the bounty uh, lobby play section to the top navigation. Nice. Clicking on Bloodline info above 100 in the lobby now opens the player profile. Okay. Uh, currencies are... Okay. Streamline the quit button interaction for keyboard and mouse users. Updated icons. Add a shortcut command for inspect equipment in the lobby. Favorite filters, uh, favorite filters are now prioritized. Owned items will always appear first. Removed gear from the top. Remove the cell configuration. Bloodbomb prizes are now prominent when purchasing skins, and a distinct gold pop up has been added for items that can be purchased with blood bonds. Okay. Uh, they're still working to make the UI more tiny and better for us, so, oh, uh, big whoop. Um, the spear has been nerfed. The melee damage has been reduced, and the spear light attack speed has been reduced. So that light attack speed is that poke is slower, and the actual damage, the melee damage has been reduced. So I guess the key thing is to keep on throwing it and picking it up, throwing it and picking it up. Uh, gameplay decreased the chance to spawn in a corner combat compound in favor for more spawn fights. I don't like that. I like having spawn fights. Those were more fun. Rockjaw. Rockjaw now dropped two tokens instead of one. They go up. No one ever goes after Rockjaw. But okay. Uh, bug fixes for the AI. Hellborn. Fix niche where you could spawn next to an extraction location. That's where it always does. It's always a, co a corner compound with an extraction, usually. Um, where ro Rotcha fixes. Fix it where you could get stuck during combat indefinitely. Don't. Okay. Where you would try attacking players outside the arena. This should not be an issue. This should be a thing because he's supposed to be a roaming boss. Allow him to attack outside the swamp area. Like a real fucking alligator. Part of my little trench. For players who would not receive care of killing with only with only the acolyte for banishment being rewarded. Okay. Uh well the okay. Fixing his rock gets stuck underwater after downing a player near the area's edge. Well the rock could still be damaged if her location was found, then death energy would not play when she was killed. The butcher, fixing his where the butcher gets stuck stuck underneath the stairs and locked by docks. Never something that. We have some world stuff. Um some player collision paths on complex areas of trees and roots. So no more. The, hopefully they'll get rid of that stuck or that rubber banding effect. We performed a cloth adjustment pass for all boss togglers. Reduce noise and opening some sight lights inside. Not okay. The water bed opening a long line of fences to the southwest cornfield. Okay. The southern downstairs ramp at the eastern has been tweaked. Added stairs to the boss trailer in the in the workshop building to connect the upper and lower parts. Additionally, a window has been added. Uh, okay, I think I know where they're, where they're talking where that is. 
Added an open door to the northern end of the church and performed small adjustments around the graveyard. Added a window to the upper section of the boathouse, making parts of the roof accessible. Smaller adjustments for tax spots also been made. Okay. And then lastly, but none, none the least, other. Fix bugs that could lead to crashes on servers. Fix an issue where the black screen would appear when launching the game. Fix an issue where alt tabbing in and out of the game occasionally causes display to freeze. Where KD allowing did not count assist. Who gives a shit? Fix the bug that causes a contribution to be inconsistent. Often do Okay, that that was uh I'm glad they fixed that part. Alright, well that's um that is the patch notes. Sorry, I went through it so fast. Hey, if you want to I like I said I'll this is on Steam, but I'll link the Steam um page below in the in the description so you can read them yourself. Hope to see what you guys think. I think they're just small this is a small uh, quality of life, but I'm really excited to try the new map. I might be trying it on my next live stream, so stay tuned. Other than that, my name is Trinity. I hope you enjoyed this patch note reading. I'm signing off and as always, stay trendy, my friends. <laughs>